for me, these drums, these prayers were so perfect because for me, this is, this is the call of the great mother. Yes, it is our inalienable right to love. And in thinking about that and contemplating that and meditating upon it, what kept coming to me is like, yes, yes. And it's our responsibility to bring that forth because we were born into it. It's a God-given reality. It's a superpower. It's what heals. It's what um, transmute. It's, it's what transforms. So this power that we have, this truth of who we are, is so important right now in our world to access that, to let go of whatever it is that is standing in the way of this fullness to come forth. I had an experience recently, I, I went on vacation, but I took a, a, some time for a personal retreat. I got together with some women and did some powerful work. In that, I felt very held by the Great Mother, guided by the Great Mother, and shown by the Great Mother that there were things in me that were not allowing the fullness of love to come to me or go through me. And it was such a powerful experience. And it was like afterwards, after letting go, after seeing it, you know, after seeing it's like, oh, wow, here I've been complaining about how that love isn't coming to me. And I'm the one that's been stopping it the whole time. Right? Those are those unconscious patterns that happen for us. And in the releasing of that, wow, talk about some magical stuff starting to happen in my life. Like things are coming and flowing. There's synchronicities and there's abundance showing up in ways that I hadn't really imagined through people, through my uh, connection with source, with the great mother, 